Hi, my name is Ezra, the epitome of air sign energy in real life, and welcome to my YouTube channel wherein the videos that I post here are very different from the videos that I post on TikTok. When I was in high school, I used to be glued to my iPod Touch or my phone, and in class, I would listen to music, and I did this trick by wearing like a sweatshirt and snaking my earphone like through the sleeve, and I would lean my, my head against my palm so I could listen to music while my teacher was talking about something that I probably should have listened to. I was always on Twitter, as you can see from the amount of tweets that I have, and I just had to be online all the time because I had such a huge fear of missing out. I would always chat with my friends and be active in every group chat that I'm in and I would always fangirl over emo bands that I no longer listen to or barely listen to these days. Basically, I had such an unhealthy relationship with the internet. So fast forward to now, it takes me hours, days, whatever, a long amount of time to respond to a single message and I only respond if it's like important and urgent. Plus, the friends that I have now, they understand my sudden disappearances and those who are new in my life, I make sure that they know about it too. Where exactly am I going with this? Social media has changed our perception. Say that you posted a photo of yourself on the internet and you received 5 likes. Kinda embarrassing. But think about it this way, here's a new perspective. Imagine five people complimenting you in real life. See? In this digital era, we think too much and we feel so much more. We care too much about what other people think of us, despite the fact that those said people barely know anything about us. Say that I asked you, do you know yourself? Say that you say yes, and then I would ask you to describe yourself. You would give me a description of who you are now. If I ask you the same question three years ago, it would be very different. The thing is, we are all in a continuous process of knowing ourselves, and this goes on for as long as we're alive. We will never be defined by just one thing. I too used to care about what other people think of me way too much. If you remember in 2020, now if you've been watching my video since 2020, thank you so much for staying. I don't really know why you're still here, but I'm glad that you're here. And I just hope that I'm a whole different person from like that thing that you knew two years ago. Now way back in 2020, the first thing that I would do when I wake up in the morning is to read all of the comments on all of my TikTok videos, like all of them, and I would reply to the interesting ones and pick a petty fight with those who disagreed with me. But like the thing is now, I see that as a very pointless thing. You know, I post a video and then I leave and I do something else that I find more valuable to invest my time in. Picking petty fights on the internet used to be my thing. I, I know that, I'm aware of that, and I will admit to that. But then I realized it won't matter three days later. And the only reason that I used to fight them was because I wasn't receiving the validation that I was expecting, which I later on realized was a problem. Because the only person that I need validation from is myself. Because only I know myself better than anybody else. And why should I let myself be affected by things said by people that I barely know and they barely know me? I then took some time to just reflect on myself and I eventually realized that I was so wrong for doing the shit that I used to do. And then from that, I stopped caring about what other people think. I really did. Now I just listen to those who actually know who I am. And then from that, I just stopped caring about what other people thought of me. Because again, they barely know me. And now I only listen to the people who knew me before I was on the internet or while I was like growing. You know, the ones who stuck with me. Wanna know what I grew to become? I then grew to become more comfortable under my own skin. I took my time in unlearning certain habits that I formed from being famous on the internet, and now I can confidently say that I have nothing to lose. If one day I just lose all the clout from the internet, that would be fine with me. I've had fun in creating videos, and I hope that I made people, you know, learn things or discover something new. And I'm happy with that. Then if I lost all my friends, well, of course I'll be sad and I'll grieve that, but I'll just be reminded that none of us get to pick and choose who stays and leaves in our lives. Now, looking for validation in the wrong places can heavily impact the person you can potentially be. Because what matters most at the end of the day is your contentment with yourself. Accepting the fact that you're not always right, you don't know everything, you barely made it, 
it's fine. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't hurt your ego to know the truth about yourself. Instead, use this as a driving force into bettering yourself. And instead of feeling bad that you're not in the same level as those in your age group, remind yourself that life isn't a competition. Life is an experience and life is what you make it. They're not the ones living your life and you're not the one living their lives. So what's the point in comparing if if 1 plus 1 is 2? Now this video is just my reminder to you that you should keep discovering more about yourself. Like what are the new things that you like? What's your new sense in fashion? What do you think is your purpose in life? Now there are so many questions that only you can answer because just like what I said, only you know yourself better than anybody else. Hey! Thank you so much for watching that video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and leave a comment for me to respond to. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!